if you're a public figure or even not that public, like you're on TV once a week, anybody can find your home address now. Is that like, I don't really love that. Well, I get death threats all the time. I don't either. But what are we <laughs> going to do? No, I don't know. Oh, no. Do yeah. about it. You get death threats but, but, all the time? By mail, yeah. So I, you know, don't walk out of your house. That was fine in the wow. mail, but oh, yeah. like the people know like our home addresses, that's... I don't know, it strikes me as a little weird. You know, I, I don't love that. A hundred years ago, I did a, 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 a stint for two weeks as a Dime McDance girl in, in Times Square. Now, they don't have Dime McDance parlors anymore, but they used to have a whole bunch of them. We closed down three of them because the mafia was running them. I mean, it was the 10 most interesting days of my life, but that's the kind of assignment that does good in the end. But it really does, because you can expose a lot, oh, did of, we ever? Uh, yeah. a lot of really crooked businesses, and you can also that's protect right. a lot of innocent people. And it's actually quite amazing how naive people can be. And if it weren't for some of these stories, uh, you know, people would basically be taken advantage of, because a lot of people don't know any better. And I mean, right. that is our job, to, to tell the story. And sometimes the full story means that you have to go digging because I don't think any cop is going to admit on camera in a sit-down interview, yeah, I arrested that guy. I shouldn't have because, you know. And no business is going to cheat you when you show up with your camera visible. If you want exactly. normal treatment, you have to be undercover. Exactly. That is correct. Well, John Stossel, great to have you on. Great and your show, you. 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday at Fox Business. And uh, make sure you tune in to Privacy or Secrecy. Uh, interesting stuff. Thank you so much, John. And we're going to take a quick break. We're going to ask you guys to, oh, and by the way, you are all on camera. I should, full disclosure, <laughs> you're all on camera. Right now. Oh, yeah, no, right there. Oh, even for the break? Yeah. Uh, oh. Sorry. Yes, our producers are spying I'm, at you. Yes, I mean, at all sure one time. not invading our privacy. <laughs> Which means you're in trouble. All right, we'll be right back. Stay right there. Took hidden cameras in and exposed stuff and won awards for it. And I've also done stories where I got charged uh, with a felony for invading people's privacy. And, you know, it is like, I like what Eric O'Keefe did. And I'm really James glad. O James O'Keefe, sorry. He nailed the uh, acorn and they deserve to be exposed. But it's creepy to bring cameras in and hidden taping and it's good we have 50 states for 60 minutes does it too yeah. 16 to. but they yeah. do it less we yeah. at abc we did it much we'd have to go through it layers of lawyers um yeah. and i don't know where the line is a nice thing about the constitution is that these powers are left to the states you can 50 states you could have laboratories of experimentation but that doesn't work for the internet the highly unctuous senator Ke uh, Kerry is proposing the internet privacy act which oh, will God. regulate what the Go advertising away, yeah. companies 